Hi, my name is Colby, fifth grade teacher. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall in love with reading. If you want to help kids fall in love with reading, subscribe, like this video, do all that stuff. I don't know why, but that's what you're supposed to say on YouTube. I'm going to be opening books that were sent to me by authors, illustrators, publishers, all kinds of people. Hopefully you can find something awesome to add to your to-read list. My to-read list is growing. I'm trying to start to move some of these books into the classroom that I've been getting this summer. It's a lot of work. Number one comment I get where you get these books. Publishers, because I talk about books online. Number two comment. Get a microphone. We can't hear you very well, especially when you're opening boxes. Okay, I'm going to get a microphone soon. I'm just so cheap. But I'll get a microphone. I don't want you to not be able to hear me. Anyways, Gail Foreman, Not Nothing. Big time YA author here. Been writing a few middle grades. Exciting to see what she has here. I feel like I read her last middle grade. Yes, I love this. Thank you, Bug. Love that book. Exciting to see that she's got another one. Let's see, we've got some boxes here. I'm gonna open the big boxes today because we gotta find a place to put some of these books to take into school. So we get excited to see packing material. We got need more space. So this is a big old box with just two picture books. That's gonna be helpful. All right, let's see what we have here. I am Wrigley. That looks adorable. This bunny is so Wrigley. Uh, and around and around on the ground, it waves its feet, its feet, it drums out a beat, it just can't stop it. Foo, it's tiring being this wriggly. Next one. Clouds in space. Let's have a look inside this one. Ooh. Ah, okay. Let's see what we got here in this big old box. I think something awesome. We can all add to our two read list. I need to read some picture books. I don't know about you. I have read so few picture books this summer. I spent almost all of my time because I have more time reading longer text. I'll probably read more picture books once the school year begins here in Michigan. How to make a picture book. The ultimate step-by-step -step guide. Do you want to make a picture book? I have the step-by-step -step guide. Let's see what the first step is. It's important. Okay, so looks like that's some information. Got to have some ideas. Story map, all kinds of fun stuff. Can't wait to check that out. Maybe I'll write a picture book. Wildlife Crossing. Protecting animal pathways around the world. That sounds so interesting. Let's just open it up and see one. Elephants in trouble in India. That's sad. I'm curious for more. Hedgehogs in trouble, UK. Oh, that's so exciting. Do you like my hat? I got this hat at Goodwill. I've been to Hawaii, but I didn't get this hat in Hawaii. I got this hat for $1.99 at Goodwill. Like an old man dad hat. That's what I am. All right. We're going to open some packages now. Hopefully find something awesome. Uh, it's weird. Weird being supposed to go and make this book. Oh, I just finished the advanced reader copy of this book. The Witching Wind. Natalie Lloyd just makes these um, fantasy books feel so real and so alive and so relatable like she makes magic feel so real this is a really beautiful book about two girls alternating points of view one girl had an incident right before she went into middle school kids are really mean to her at the community pool the other girl is um in the foster system she's going to a new home and they're both like starting middle school together at the same school and it goes back and forth they're both really looking for something and hopefully they can find it they're trying to find it in the witching wind you love this book trust me it's phenomenal it's so exciting if I don't actually know the books that I'm talking about, especially people by like Natalie Lloyd, hello. She's like one of the best writers out there. Okay, another chapter book here. When We Flew Away. I have not read this. A novel of Anne Frank, Before the Diary. That sounds super interesting. I'm curious. You're curious? Probably. Probably curious. Okay, let's see what we have here from Kids Can Press. We came from Canada. Canada, actually, at the time of this video, they got whooped by Germany in Olympic basketball. Let's pick up this little Kit Kat. I don't know how Kit Kats are in Canada, if they're really this flat or if they got flattened in the mail. Do you know? I read this book. It's so funny. It's about this little shrew goes to work, and has to do all these like normal day-to-day -day things that a grown-up human would do, but it's a shoe. You got a Rubik's Cube. It's so weird in the best way. Not like the bad weird. I'm gonna leave it there. The, the good weird, yeah. It's got a little awkward there. Got a little uncomfortable, got a little sweaty here making this video. Sorry about that. 
Didn't mean to do that. I'll do these in one take, so there's no messing up. This looks fun, the Quacken. Oh, let's look inside this one too. Oh, I love the art style, it's so fun. I can't wait to meet the Quacken though. That looks a little intense, it's a little scary, a little fun there. All right, let's see what we got here. It'll be something awesome. Two read lists just growing. Some picture books through that. I really want to read the Animal Pathways. That just sounds so interesting to me. The Day Nader Medir voted. A lot of voting books this year. Obviously, we have a new election, so that's exciting. Di Di Wade Hudson and Dante, an amazing team. I can't wait to read this book. I teach fifth grade social studies. It's a little, it got a little, it's getting a little intense last year. We were learning about three branches of government, oh, with this being an election year. So, yeah, we'll be treading some water there, uh, just teaching them, teaching them about three branches of government and how all that stuff works. So it's they're really excited when it's an election year. So hopefully, can we maybe we'll read that book on November fifth or whatever day we vote. I should know that. I know it's like ninety days away from the recording of this video. How wild is that? All right, let's see what Candlewick sent us. Let's start with this one. We're moving house. Like they're moving the actual house. That's fun. Oh, the art. And this one is so fly too. Look at that art. Great artists out there. The Search for Carmela. What mystery lurks in the deep? Let's see a picture. The hat looks ridiculous. I kind of love it. Looks cool. Strong like me. Like that confidence. Night walk. Ooh, that looks cool. Look at that grandpa. Looks like a grandpa. No, you don't know. You could be a dad. Could be just a dude. Oh, it's grandpa. I love it. Let's go. Oh, that just looks so tender. How to make a bedtime. We can, we could read, we could use this book in the summer here at our house with five kids. Not doing so good there. Something good. That was adorable. Serious, seriously. We're in picture book heaven right now, friends. We're just hanging out. Cloud nine, picture book heaven. That's so cute. Oh, seriously. We're all going to read this, I know. Oh, man. Look at the back of this. I mean, see the front. Yeah. Let's be bees. And that's by Sean Harris, who um, won a call the cat honor and does the illustrations in First Cat and Space Ate Pizza. So we will read everything he writes forever, including this one. We'll just show you a little peek inside. This is art is so cool. Can't wait. Let's be bees. Moving day, another moving one. Looks like this house is moving too. What is going on? Do we have a trend? A house moving trend? I don't know. Toto. Looks cool too. Fairy Door Diaries, author of the Judy Moody series. Unicorna, a magic birthday. Ava Lynn, one of a kind. Friends, we're going to stop now because I got some picture book reading to do. Got some books to pack up. Got to get to school. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.